Hi, I'm Richard Clure, leader of Wiltshire Council. I'm going to talk through some of the items that we've discussed in Cabinet recently. We received an update on the progress that Wiltshire Council is making in addressing the, the climate emergency and carbon reduction. Uh, as a council, we've now reduced our emissions from about 24,000 tonnes six years ago to just over 5,000 tonnes this year. And we're making significant progress well on track to decarbonise by 2030. The wider county is a, a, a tougher ask, but we've got the Solar Together scheme with more than 1,000 people um, fitting solar panels and batteries as a result. Uh, there's an awful lot of work with partners going on, with companies, with the armed forces. So there's steady progress being made, still big asks needing government to intervene, but we are well on track. I'm delighted that we've been able to allocate uh, almost £700,000 to additional support for the Parish Stewards Scheme. Uh, for those who don't know, Parish Stewards are, are, are um, Wiltshire Council um, staff who are out and about addressing the small issues that are causing problems on highways or on footpaths around our, our towns, villages. Uh, it's really, really good work. It's really valued work in the communities. And we've been able to find some funding to allocate over the next three years, so just £230,000 a year, to, to put another team out there dealing with some slightly trickier, slightly, slightly bigger problems. Uh, absolutely delighted we're making more, more progress there. We've agreed that we are going to go and look out for a new provider to uh, uh, reopen uh, Salisbury City Hall as an entertainment venue. It's been running as a music entertainment venue since 1961. Uh, it closed due to COVID and then has been a COVID vaccination centre for, for the last three years. Uh, we as a council, we do an awful lot of things. We're fundamentally a social care provider. We deal with 600 other services. Honestly, we're not great at running entertainment venues. So we're going out to look for a, a specialist provider who can run that for us and make City Hall a thriving place moving forward. On that basis, we will be opening City Hall uh, again after we do some work. However, a slight caveat, we're also looking for a, a grant from Government's Leveling Up Fund uh, for City, Salisbury City Hall. If we got that, it would mean some significant work, significant improvements to the buildings, dealing with things like the acoustics, which have always been an issue there. Were we to be successful with that, it would take probably a two-year period for that work to be done, and we'd be looking to open early in 2025. One way or another, Salisbury City Hall will be reopening as a live entertainment and, and music venue. We've agreed how to allocate the additional money we've been given by government for the next financial year uh, to, to support domestic um, abuse, domestic violence. Uh, it's almost £900,000, and it's being spread over a wide range of areas based on the evidence we built from last year, um, uh, addressing all the issues you'd expect um, in, in terms of, of, of tackling domestic abuse, providing refuges, but also some of the areas that perhaps are, are, are more specific to Wiltshire. So there's, there's an element in there of support for military families, which you wouldn't expect from perhaps other councils. It, it's great that we've got this additional funding that we can make headway. We're expecting to get more funding from government next year uh, and, and to continue to, to drive a service aimed at providing support to those who are, are fleeing from domestic violence.